Hello again folks and welcome back to another video on Record of Lodos War. I'm your host, the Game of Darius. As you can see, I have been playing quite a bit of time since the last time I had uh, delved into this. A lot of grinding and a lot of experimentation and a lot of looking around the areas to find the things I would need to do the penultimate goal of, you know, beating the dragons. And I believe I had said before in the previous uh, extra video of this that, you know, save for grinding to get your strength and whatnot against the dragons themselves, it can take a lot of time just in order to slay the dragons themselves. Uh, I had done some terrible miscalculations and had found boards that seemed a little bit too unbelievable at the time. Uh, but this is my current gear, pretty much. Uh, my Drabulator, which is a lion's armor, I believe it's called. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. And it has 583 in it, which is a little bit ridiculous now that I look at it. Um, the, this set of armor is pretty good for increasing your strength, but lowers your durability. That's not something I really need against a dragon, after all. Uh, I'm probably going to swap out these rings in just a hot second. I really hadn't been increasing my Heaven's Gate uh, shield because while it does increase my HP and provide maximum protection, I had been using uh, another sword that I found called the Mithril Sword, which was stupid strong, but it's two-handed. Uh, so I might be trying this simply so I can have the extra HP in the fights to come. I have the Dragon Helm, which is a... Uh, Oracle Lion? Something like Gothic Lion, that was it. Gothic Lion Helm. Uh, strong against fire, weak against cold air, which kind of didn't really work too well in the place that I was uh, grinding at, but I'll get to that in a second. But it increases my strength, which is important. And of course, I have the Dragon Slayer, which... Uh, yeah, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, it is stupid strong at this point. In fact, well, let's go over to Erebor and be all like, Hey, Erebor. Want to check out my sword? You need to be looking. I have Magic maxed to be pretty to much weapon. all of the abilities that I feel like would be actual threats. And that's a lot. Yeah, right. I'm going to go with words to the sword. Um... Yeah, so there's also another ability that goes into the sword that I had gotten within the Cold Caves. I didn't record any of that because the Cold Caves are kind of bullshit. So it is called Revive as Mithril. Depending on the damage you deal and the HP and the HP of the uh, enemy that you're trying to kill, it drops Mithril. And how much... Mithril is dependent on the damage and the HP and whatnot. I have found that the best place to grind for Mithril is the Cold Caves level uh, 9? No, level 8. The one that, like, you enter level 9, then you go up. That's the one. Because most of the monsters there are just weak enough to be not a threat whatsoever. You go most anywhere else in the Cold Caves, you're going to have a bad time. Um, that said, pretty much every single monster that I have found has been dropping somewhere around 500 mithril. So, money is relatively easily gotten. Uh, another thing that I would do that I found is actually a lot faster. Like, 50 to 70,000 mithril per run is just use the elevator that goes down to the final boss fight. So, that's a plus. What type of weapon shall I forge? Now that said, uh, I actually did a quick test to see just how much damage the Demon Slash Dragon Slayer now does against, you know, the boss. And it's a lot. Uh, and my previous estimation of 8 hours is wrong, and it's pretty much now just based on whether or not... Uh, I can get in some good hits and do good damage. I'm not going to use the Immortal Potions, because that seems a little meh. I might do... I might do the Knight's Ring. 
fine necklace. I don't need the, uh, the, the one thing about the cold area, though, is that it is filled to the brim with Medusa, usually. So the immune stone is really damn good, but if you get two Medusas, you will sometimes find yourself, you know, spending like half a minute just, you know, taking it to the face. So we're going to take the medallion, because I want to face off against the green dragon first. Increases impact and damage. Because I won't lie, um, as much as I would love, love, love to see myself do so much, or take so many hits from the goddamn Jurgens, um, yeah, that shit's, uh, shit's a little hard. Oh wait, that actually provides more. You know what, that's fine. That's, that's relatively fine. Save it again, just in cases, because paranoia. Oh yeah, the... Um, I really haven't seen what sort of slam damage is going to be done. Uh, I'd only seen what sort of fire damage is going to be done, and really the fire damage is still probably the most harrowing when it comes to the whole fighting against the Durgans thing. But, we shall at the least see how this is going to go. Uh, one thing I was considering is doing these other boots, the silent boots, because they increase your dexterity, quote-unquote, a little. Uh, but that is like a 60-point increase to my critical, so I'll, I'll keep those on hand, just in case. Just in case, he says. And, uh, let's go piss off an old lady. We've already been through this dialogue before. All right, here you go. What are you talking about? Teleport to this. I'm pretty sure that this is the cave that we fought the worms in. Still pretty sure. Incarnation, evil, all that fun stuff. Yep, him big. Yeah, yeah, that is, uh, infinitesimally more damage than I had previously said that I was doing before, wasn't it? And he's only doing 600 with his flames, but I really don't want to test out how much his slam does. Dang it. Whiffed it. Come on. Come on, baby, breathe your fire. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, how much is it I said that they had before? Something like... Well, this one anyways. I honestly don't know how much HP this guy has. Ooh, okay. That was a doozy. Okay. Don't know whether or not that guide that I had found was uh, any sort of accurate now. Ow! Don't know. It better have been a lot of money. <laughs> That's so little money considering. Ah. Uh. Worth it. You know what? Worth it. It is impossible. I don't believe it. How can this be? Even though you did not heed my warning, you fought the dragon and won. Who are you? What are you? Are you a god? Morella is close to death. She shared life with the dragon to make it stronger. His death has mortally wounded her. However, I still... I, I believe I could still save her if you so wish. But it is your decision. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about saving the life of the individual that just, you know, threw a dragon at me. For reasons. But you know what? Fine, Saber. You are merciful as well as mighty. If you are a god, you are like no god I have ever known. Very well. I will tend to poor Morella's wounds as best I can. 
I could have ended her right then and there. Leave Morella with me. She will be punished, but I will see that she is not killed. Eh. All right. I uh won that one pretty handily. Now I'm wondering how well ag against the <sighs> Black Dragon Nars I'm going to be able to go. Because I still want to uh, face off against him officially, you know? I don't want to go about... Oh yeah, just whack whack. I want to go about the whole gauntlet that he has. Not that it's much of a gauntlet when I think about it now, because if I'm able to take out one of these Durgans with little to no problems, then um, I don't think that his little... Like, I... I estimated like, oh, it's gonna take eight hours to kill him with the damage I was doing. That was with the damage I was doing. Now I'm doing like... Well, at the least when it came to... That particular Durgan. So we shall see. Five bucks says that this goes terribly. Let's see. Right. Gotta go left. Naturally, I'll save before I go doing anything more with this. Well, once I get into Narse's cave, that is. Dear Narse, have a closer teleportation crystal, please. Thank you. Gonna make this all the more possible. I think Narse is much stronger than the green dragon, but I don't know. I don't know. Come to think of it, I really don't remember how much <clears throat> how much more useful the dragon armor is. Uh, the stuff that you more or less quest for just to make Nars go, Hey, you want to challenge me in uh, legitimate combat? So, yeah, it's, it's far less bullshit. It's far, far less bullshit having... No, actually ground, but again, depending on your tolerance for grinding, I don't know if people can tolerate as much grinding as I've done, because it took me a while just to find the um, raise as mithril ability, let alone the mithril sword, because all those caves are a pain in the ass. If you don't die from being petrified, you will probably die from all the damage. <laughs> and for the record, no, I've not yet gotten the um, armor. From where the hell are you? This is such a large cave. No, I've not yet gotten the armor from Where's Medusa. All right, thirty minions. Let's do this. One. <laughs> God, this is going to be such a ridiculous bit. One of the only reasons I was contemplating trying to get my sword to complete maximum was thanks to this whole thing. But... I missed one? Yep. Because these enemies... The later ones, anyways, like Mithril Golem, <clears throat> are still painful to attack. I think one of the most painful parts about this is waiting for all the theatrics to happen. Yeah. <laughs> ah, goddammit. I was hoping it was going to be a lot closer. Shush. Case in point. The Mithril Golem is now a pushover. Oh no, uh, that wasn't a Mithril Golem. That was one of the um, lesser ones. That guy did 50 damage to me. But I have a fast regeneration as well as a very powerful regeneration now, so...
as long as, you know, it takes a couple of moments for the teleporter to spawn. It's like, whatever. Whatever. Do, 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 do. What a second, is this a thing of Mithril never collected? It totally is. Huh. Well. <laughs> oh god, everything falls like flies! Lies, I say. Is that more myth? Yep. Oh well. I'm not gonna worry about it too too much. The only other place that there is beyond this gauntlet and the dragon <clears throat> is that teleporter that was by Wart's place. And I do plan on doing that. I just don't know whether or not I am strong enough for it. Oh, that one took two hits. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I think that one of the things, though, is that um, when it comes to the cold caves, it's a rough time simply because, depending on where it is that you want to try to grind, uh, it's hell. Like, the area above the area that I, I have been grinding at... Uh, has more Medusas, stronger Medusas, and all the creatures seem to do like twice the damage of the cold caves that I've been grinding on. Nope. Which is fine, but I have not yet maxed out my armor and health. I've, I'm close to maxing out my armor and health. But now it's at the point where I think armor plus 10 and health plus 10, but each one of them has like 99 levels that you can put into it. But at the same time, uh, every every level of it is just like whoa, so expensive. I think that's the first time a monster's done more than double damage, digits damage to me in this whole gauntlet. Oh, yep. But I'm regenerating pretty fast. Assuming I don't take much more damage by the time I get to Nars. Ooh. That's a little bit of damage. Oh, hey, this guy's got hit points. But I was able to crit a couple of the times. That's one of the other things about the Durgans is that they have a really high crit resistance. Uh, so doing the damage I want, it's kind of hurt. Let's go ahead and put those on so I don't stagger as much. Ah, god damn it! How dare you make me bleed my own blood? Yeah, if anything, this is an indicator that Nars, as a dragon, is just infinitesimally stronger than uh, the black dragon that I had faced. Because these guys aren't exactly slouches. I'm starting to think against these particular creatures, I should have a higher uh, dexterity. Do I, did I bring that? I got a higher crit rate. Hmm. Yeah, let's increase that crit rate until we get to the Durgan. And reminder. Oh, hello. That the uh, boots are not effective when fighting the Durgans. I use the booties of speed because, well, yes. It's still going to be a hell of a thing 
to try to face off against the dude and then just suddenly get <laughs> squished flat because he'll do more damage, but... I suppose here is where I really should have brought in the... brought in? Brought myself the... Um, God, I can't word anymore. I should have brought the immortality potions. I mean, not to fight against these chumps. Yep, one damage. Uh, Vampire Bite is also attempting one. Damn it. Ah. Yep. Right, load. Okay, so one of the things I had made as a terrible assumption for some reason is that durability is the thing that I wanted because durability is really, really damn good. And it is. Uh, when you get staggered, you spend less time in a staggered position, which is that whole matrixy whoa thing you see my character doing. It doesn't prevent it. Dexterity is what prevents it. So... Gotta go dirty dex build. Womp. That's one of the reasons why the lion armor kind of does suck, but at the same time... Ah, no. I dig it. I mean, look at that. I mean, look at it as best as you can, because holding up the shield. <laughs> How many more of these guys were there? I know that I still have the mithril golem to fight, but... I think the mithril golem is the final, final one. And remind, reminder too, you cannot uh, chicken out of this. There we go. Kind of wish this guy would just drop a huge chunk of mithril. It makes sense. It's a mithril golem after all. All right. Um, I'm gonna see whether or not I can do good crit. 260% chance is a pretty damn good chance of critting. I don't know how well that is against Durgan. Yep. Yep. <sighs> you know, this is a common misconception when it comes to uh, people fighting dragons. There's usually a party and whatnot. Like, don't get me wrong, I always love the whole, oh yeah, lone warrior against a mighty Durgan. I love that in fiction. I think I do need the speed boots because I can't get to his back in fast enough time. Well, so long, crit. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna not worry about crit too much. Oh yeah. Half a million damage. I just need to do a couple of passes like this. Come on down, nurse. You're the next on the dragon to be slain. Nope, no, no. Ah, frick. That's my bad. I'm still used to using the mithril blade, which is like, I think the best two-handed sword you could possibly use. Don't quote me on that, but it's pretty damn good, so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this as carefully as possible, simply because I don't want to have to repeat fighting the 30 some odd, <sighs> the 30 some odd creatures before fighting Nars again. That, and again, I still don't know how much damage Nars' slam attack does. So I'm being careful of that, too.
Once you actually have the damage, these guys aren't the hardest to face. You just need speedy boots to, you know, speed it away around them. Get out of range of attacks and move to their backside because, yeah, you know, fire breaths. Okay, one more swing would do the trick. I don't know how much damage it was overall. I'm gonna have to... Boom. All that mithril. Okay. I thought it was gonna whip back to me and be all like, What now, hero? Nas fell in battle to a mighty warrior. Despite his age, he put up quite a fight. This was the best death for that he could have hoped for. You have proved yourself a worthy guardian of his honor. At least his soul will be free. Good luck on your quest, hero. May Marfa protect you. I don't know, I feel like at this point I can pretty much just one-shot the final boss. That was... That was still not a whole lot of money. But, you know what? I don't care. The glory of Dragon Slaying has been provided today. And it only took 12 additional hours of gameplay. Whoo, boy. Still, that was fun. Uh, again, I'm one of those individuals that like grinding. And once I was actually able to get the proper method of grinding, then, you know, it was whatever. But beforehand, you know, when I had started off the 12 hours of grinding and trying to find the things that I needed to, it was hell. Because you don't necessarily get all the things that you need in order to survive the area that, you know, the grinding takes place in. <sighs> Still, that was a whole lot of fun. And I feel like that they did intend it somewhat for that to have been possible after or before facing off against the final boss, which, yeah, I could see it. But at the same time, the final boss would have then been a complete joke. But thank you everyone so very much for watching once again. Um, I think next video will be the final video depending on how things go. Because the final video is going to be me going back into that teleporter where I got completely lambasted. <laughs> so that should be fun. <music> 43 total hours of playtime, two dragon slaying, and a whole lot of grinding later. And we have but one location that I... Don't know if I'm properly prepared for, honestly. Um, I might honestly put back on the immunity one because I remember that there were the terrible, terrible creatures. Uh, a high crit chance is really damn good. I will not lie. Yeah, good crit, good, good damage should do the trick. Anyways, last we left off, we have slain. A couple of dragons. This time around, we're going to be slaying... I don't remember. Or don't know, rather. Besides ogres and the golem. That dropped a lot of money. I remember down here there was a Medusa. At least one. Oh, and that guy still sucker punches me for 2,000 damage. All right, I do need the different armor then. That durability uh, being tanked as it is is a bad. What type of weapon? Yeah, do it is to be bad. So let's transform it. <sighs> the only other thing that I would want to transform it into is the Gothic Marfa. Just yeah. flat out is better. You need to be looking for Don't Avengers forget your artifacts. Uh, number of artifacts and armor to strength. I think I just want yeah. double defense. What type of weapon shall I walk? Yeah. I think I might transform this as well. What else do I have? Like this provides the most armor but less parrying. 
It's like 600, 300. I could just continue to go with the whole gothic Marfa stuff. Reduces damage, increases HP regeneration. Yeah. What type of weapon you get? You need to be looking for In which case, though, I'm still gonna go with Incarnation of Goddess. Because, yeah. you know, what type of double the yeah. HP, you double the fun. And we're gonna transform this. Really? The armor? Oh, okay. This one is far, far better for resistances. Oh man, but I like the. Ah oh, well. Yeah. You need to be looking for a magic spell to be forged into the weapon. Now, this one was always hard to do when it came to. Yeah. This because when it came to the ancients on it, because you know, it's a helmet, but the helmets don't provide much in the way of good stuff. So we're gonna quick save one more time so I don't have to re equip and change around my armor again. What is it I had on my sword? What did I have on my sword? I don't remember. Hmm. I probably should, uh, get a ring of... One of the rings of stone that I have to make it so as I don't get afflicted by stone either. I like HP. But I like damage. Actually, this might be a good place to start using the... Immortality Potions. Maybe a refresh stone as well. Ugh. Don't know why I have three of those. Alright, one more paranoid save. Because I'd rather be able to just jump right back down there and continue doing the duty. I said duty. Ah. <sighs> Honestly, even if I can't figure out some sort of way to get through this section, I'd be happy with just having slain those dragons. But I would be dishonest in saying that uh, I would be disappointed in myself if I could not see whether or not I could face off against everything here. Hmm. It kind of has the same vibe as some of the other places I had been out. Where I think it's dependent on who I slay. Yeah, I recover far, far faster now. Way faster. It's giving me a lot of money too. Room of Extrication. Woo, what hit me? I can recall at any point. Is this pretty much the fastest way to make money in this? Ah, uh, yeah. Wait, Carla? Yeah, that's Carla. Oh, she costs petrification. That's bad. Alright, let's deal with Resolve. Some of these other dudes. I'm fairly certain that that's, uh... OG What's-His-Face. Are they... Is she just constantly bringing them back to life? I don't much appreciate that. I really don't much appreciate that. Oh, come on, Carla, stop. Yes! Was that it? 
Did I win? Oh, hey. You have passed the ultimate test. You have conquered the physical manifestation of your darkest fears. It seems there is no no one left on Marmo to challenge you. You are now the mightiest warrior on this island. <laughs> I like the sound of that scene. <laughs> I always do appreciate a challenge. Thank you, my friend. Now I am at ease. Your destiny in this life is written, but your but the fate of your soul has yet to be decided. To resurrect Cardis, Wagnard has had to awaken the spirit of the dark priestess Enel from within slain and Layla's child, niece. This is the demon you face in the temple of Cardis. She will attempt to take your soul if she is defeated. I fear this cannot be stopped. But Nis survives within Ninel. Even if Ninil, that's a typo probably, takes your soul, I believe that Nis will free you in the end. You will rest in peace. Now let us return to the Goblin Fortress. Hello. Thunderwall. Rod with... Rod into which the power of thunder ghosts are locked. Pardon? Oh, I have no MP. That's right. I sacrificed that for health. Alright. Uh, does this mean if I take out what's her face now, I'll not die? You are truly a great hero. Even though the Chronicles of History do not record your actions, I shall never forget your name. I mean, being remembered by couple of dozen more people would be nice. I won't lie. That hurt. I'll give you that. What type of weapon? Yeah. You need to be looking Was this the one for the barbarian one that I had taken? Yeah. That all? Yeah, it was. Alright, so for slaying a buttload of dragons, I got a buttload of magic. I pro er, magic. Mithril. I probably would have gotten a whole lot of levels, but at the same time, what are levels at this point? I'm level 100. Uh, and for defeating the incarnation of my greatest fears, I got this. I gotta see how much damage this thing does. Just out of curiosity. Just gonna use it against a random goblin. Why, hello, random goblin. I mean, maybe it's dependent on my magic stat, and you guys know me, I don't really invest much into magic. But you know what? This is actually a pretty decent alternative to, uh... You know, using most any other thing. <laughs> Especially as a fighter dude. And out of magic. All right, that's enough fist farting around. Um, cool though. I after twelve hours have, as far as I know, beaten the last of what there is in the game. I actually feel pretty awesome about that. Like, I I feel like I would have had there would have been something in me going like. Man, could have you could have been able to beat the rest of the the extra stuff of the game, but then part of me that same part of me would have been like, no, but think of the numbers, and then I would have thought of the numbers and been all like, screw the numbers, I have dragons to slay. Still, that was a whole lot of fun, and I need to double 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 check if there's anything else really quick. So one second. Yeah, from what I can tell, there does not seem to be any additional things beyond the dragon, the additional fight with not really Carla, and whatnot. I don't even think that there's an additional ending to this, which, you know what? Whatever. That's fine. I'm, the dragon's thing is probably super non-canon anyways. And keep in mind, too, that I'm working with walkthroughs, hints, and tips that go back as far as 2000, and the most recent one being... Uh, 
finalized in 2003. So if I'm missing something, it's more than likely I'm missing it and will never ever pick it up. Uh, but with that said, I'm going to go do ahead with one more save and call it a Let's Play officially. This was a blast. Again, I, I'm not one to be bothered about heavy grinding, so the 12 additional hours I did of grinding and searching was whatever. And honestly, I'm glad that I was able, I was able to prove uh, past me correct in terrible numbers and whatnot. Because this was such a good time. Really damn good time, I really wish. I don't know, I, I kind of want there to be a little bit more, but I'm not sure what else there would have even been for that end and yeah if you like a good old hack and slash with a little bit of extras tacked onto it that doesn't necessarily have the same sort of bleh amount of equipment stuff that you get from like Diablo you no know, and you've already got a Dreamcast because I I happen to have a Dreamcast definitely give this a shot because this was this was a good time thank you everyone so very much for watching like this series, like, come subscribe, all that fun stuff. I have plenty of other Let's Plays that I have covered. RPGs, uh, action-adventure stuff. Uh, lots of D&D stuff as well, if you're into that. Uh, I guess technically this would kind of be like a D&D related one. Uh, and if you want to support the channel in some sort of financial fashion, there's, you know, Patreon and Streamlabs links down in the description below. So give those a... Check out if you want to do that. I think that's it. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. And I hope to see you guys the next Let's Play. Take care. Cheers.